Tom lived in a small beautiful house. He had two older brothers and two younger sisters. His mother was a sensitive lady. She had a small vegetable garden. She enjoyed gardening and spending time outside in nature. His father had a cold and unfriendly demeanor. But Tom was aware that his father was warm and caring on the inside. He enjoyed reading newspapers and watching television talk shows. Tom had four friends. John, Jasper, Lewis, and Harry. They were all his childhood friends. Tom cherished his time with them. He never refused to assist them when they needed it. They also helped Tom when he needed it. Tom's two older brothers were close to each other. They shared their joys and sorrows. They were there for each other in times of trouble. He loved his two older brothers. His two younger sisters were also extremely close. They were their best friends. Tom adored his parents but he was not satisfied with them. They never showed him affection. One day, Tom was out with Harry. It was early morning and the air was fresh, but the rest of the day would be hot. A boy ran up to him. He was breathing fast. He put his hand on Tom's shoulder. Your parents were in an accident, Tom. I am not sure if they are alive or dead, but you must go home quickly, said the boy in a breathy voice. Tom hurried home. People were gathered outside his home. He could hear his sister's sobs. He quickly ran in. His father and mother were lying dead on the floor. It was the worst day of Tom's life. He and his siblings lost both their parents. After a year, Tom found a very good job. One day he finished his work early. He thought of going to the old bakery in the town. On his way to the bakery, he noticed John and Louis standing outside the old mansion's gate. What are they doing there? Perhaps they are smoking cigarettes. Tom reflected. He walked near them. Maggie and Grace, my little sisters, what are they doing there? Tom said aloud. A passing man overheard him. Are they your sisters? inquired the man. Why yes, Tom expressed concern. They come here every day, four of them. Nobody lives in the mansion. Its owner passed away a long time ago. The man smiled and went away. Tom dashed over to the mansion. He grabbed John's shoulder and pulled him back. Then, he pushed Louis back. Why are you both with my sisters? Tom demanded angrily. We were chatting, Louis explained. Tom looked at his sisters. Their expressions were not inviting. They were not scared that Tom found them out with his friends. Tom, I like Lewis and Grace likes John, and they both like us, Maggie stated in a firm tone. We don't want you bothering us, Tom. Please leave, said Grace. I'm not going anywhere. Explain everything. How long has it been going, cried Tom. We're not going to explain anything. Tom, Maggie said. John and Lewis stood silently. They remained silent. Tom got angry. He warned John and Lewis to stay away from his sisters. They, too, became enraged and told Tom to leave them alone. Tom had no choice but to return home. He was devastated. His two older brothers left for Asia after their parents died. They established their successful business there. They sent money home but never came to visit. His two younger sisters were also growing apart from him. John and Louis had betrayed him. He no longer wanted to be friends with them. He despises them to no end. He believed they had stolen his sister's love and respect for him. The next day, Tom planned to go to Jasper. 
It had been a month since he had seen his friend. When he arrived at Jasper's house, it was locked from the outside. His neighbors informed Tom that he had left for London a week before. He had no intention of returning for the next five years. Tom went to Harry's home. He inquired as to why Jasper had not informed anyone he was leaving for London. Harry told him that Jasper had informed them of his plans a month before. He didn't tell me, said Tom. Tom, I think Jasper didn't want to tell you. Do you remember the last time we met? Jasper waited for you to leave, and then he told us about his plans, said Harry. But why did Jasper hide his plans from me? Asked Tom with disappointment. I'm not sure, said Harry. Tom didn't have anything else to ask. He felt betrayed by everyone he cared about. He believed that no one wanted to include him in their lives. He rose to leave. Wait, Tom, Harry said. I have something I want to give you. He took out a piece of paper and a pen and began writing something on it. He got to his feet, went to the closet, and took out a small box. It was a lovely gift box. He placed the paper in the box and handed it over to Tom. Take it, Tom, it's a gift from me. I cannot give you a more valuable gift than this, said Harry. Tom was confused. The box contained nothing but a piece of paper with something written on it. Harry told him not to open it until he arrived home. Tom left Harry's place and returned home. He sat on the couch and opened the box. He took out the paper and began reading what Harry had written on it. Don't force people to choose you, because if they want to, they will. Let the right people choose you, and then be grateful to them for choosing you.